So for today's adventure, we're at the Kramer Lake Trailhead at Dog Lake, just east of White Pass. We're going to do the hike today into Shell Rock Lake, as long as the snow conditions aren't too deep, once we get up into the basin. Anyways, today's adventure, Shell Rock Lake, via the Kramer Lake Trailhead at Dog Lake. Coyote tracks, and the stray feels like she needs to sniff every single paw print. So 1.4 miles in, we're at the log crossing at Clear Creek, and I did not bring my trekking poles today, and I kind of wish I would have, because if I slip off one of these logs, the hike is over pretty early. So we're about 1.7 miles in at this point with 300 feet of elevation gain and we're just starting a climb of about 7 tenths of a mile up into the Tumac Basin. Almost 1.9 miles and there's the only view of Dog Lake on the way up into the Tumac Basin. That's where the trailhead, the Kramer Lake trailhead is. You can see there's still a touch of large colors right down by the lake. So 2.4 miles and about 680 feet of elevation gain. We finished the climb up into Tumac Basin and the next major landmark will be a large meadow that's adjacent Kramer Lake. So just over three and a half miles, and we're at about 920 feet of elevation gain. We just took the small side trail down to Kramer Lake. The snow on the top here is getting deep enough to where I think I'm gonna go ahead and transition into my lighter weight uh, rain pants at this time. Right now we're passing a beautiful meadow that's just adjacent Kramer Lake. It looks like snow in spots now is getting getting to be about six inches deep probably so still not too bad I think it's going to be doable the entire way in so 3.9 miles we're hitting the intersection with the Dumbbell Lake Trail we're going to continue straight straight on the Kramer Lake Trail So right at four and a half miles and a thousand feet of elevation gain, you're gonna hit a signed T intersection and we're gonna hang a right on the Shell Rock Lake Trail until we get to Shell Rock Lake. So we've gone five miles so far. We're still at a thousand feet of elevation gain. So we've been actually descending a little bit for a while now and as you can see beautiful weather we haven't hit more than more than six inches and we're, now we're probably down into that one one to three inch range so unless we get a big dump this next week this might be hikeable for another two weeks it depends a little bit on that weather system that's coming in but beautiful hike and we're breaking trail today so there's nobody else up here so just kind of have it to ourselves. So five and a half miles and about a thousand feet of elevation gain, we've arrived at Shell Rock Lake, which as you can see is already freezing over for the winter. The approach from Kramer Lake definitely is easier than the one from the Sand, um, Sand Ridge Trailhead. So I definitely suggest that. There's just, a, the distance is close to the same, but the elevation gain I think is gonna be like a thousand feet less by coming in from the Kramer Lake Trailhead at Dog Lake. But anyways, here it is, Shell Rock Lake. Pretty little spot. Maybe one or two more weeks a person will be able to get in here. It just depends on the snow conditions and what happens with the next front that comes in. So here's just one other perspective on Shell Rock from a, a different area of the shoreline. So depending on where you, where you are, the lake looks a little bit larger. 
and there's definitely a large large camp area on this lake so it's it's one where you could easily overnight the right time of year So about 10.8 miles and 1,300 feet of elevation gain, we're arriving back at the Kramer Lake Trailhead. So we're going to call Shaw Rock Lake in the bag. This is November 10th, and I wouldn't be surprised if we got two more weeks a hiking window out of this hike. But again, just depends on the weather. Anyway, Shaw Rock Lake is in the bag. Get outside.